Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Omar claims crisis at border is white nationalism. Trump utterly destroys her. Representative Ilhan Omar claimed the only real crisis at our southern border is white nationalism. The Minnesota Congresswoman was responding to shocking numbers of migrants rushing our southern border that Border Protection Commissioner Kevin McAleenan says is at a breaking point. Omar dismissed reports 1 million migrants are heading to our border, claiming it's white nationalism which is to blame. Well, that's when President Donald Trump utterly destroyed her. ULL love this. The southern border crisis is only getting worse. Now, Border Patrol officials are warning us it's at a breaking point and they are begging all Americans to take it seriously. While President Trump is doing everything he can, the commander-in-chief is still being met by political game-playing by the likes of Democrats such as Rep. Omar. U.S. Customs and Border Protection Commissioner Kevin McAleenan said the border was at its breaking point, noting there are not enough agents to respond to the flow of illegal immigrants crossing the U.S.-Mexico border, Fox News reports. That breaking point has arrived this week at our border. McAleenan said during a visit to the border in El Paso, Texas. CBP is facing an unprecedented humanitarian and border security crisis all along our southwest border. His agency also tweeted that they saw the highest number of apprehensions and encounters in over a decade this week, over 4,000 in one day. Hashtag CBP saw the highest total of apprehensions and encounters in over a decade on Monday, with 4,000 migrants either apprehended or encountered at ports of entry in a single day. Yesterday, that record was broken again, 4,117 in a single day. Enter Rep. Ilhan Omar who is dismissing Border Protection Commissioner Kevin McAleenan's dire warnings. Instead, the radical left-wing congresswoman's response was to blame white nationalism as the only problem she sees at the border. This is abhorrent and inhumane. It's without a doubt a reflection of what white nationalism is doing to our country. As a country, we have to acknowledge that this is how people are being treated here and decide that we are better and we must do better," tweeted Omar in response to a report that El Paso has a crisis with migrant families rushing the border. Well, maybe it would be a good idea if Rep. Omar would volunteer her district to immediately take in all those poor migrants. Since this is just a problem of white nationalism, we wonder how her constituents would like to have tens of thousands of unvetted migrants dumped into their hometown? President Donald Trump responded to all the naysayers like Rep. Omar and her cohorts by issuing this dire warning, Mexico is doing nothing to help stop the flow of illegal immigrants to our country. They are all talk and no action. Likewise, Honduras, Guatemala and El Salvador have taken our money for years, and do nothing. The Dems don't care, such bad laws. May close the southern border. And patriotic Americans are overwhelmingly are on board with closing the border. Close the border. It will stop the flow of illegals, drugs and trafficking as much as is possible right now. Finish the wall. You have to stop the flow before you can deal with the ones already here or it makes no difference," said Twitter user 4A Fresa in response to the president's statement. The American people shocked the world in 2016 when we elected the political novice and billionaire from New York over the so-called seasoned politician and former Secretary of State. And the one issue that drove voters to elect Trump was resoundingly illegal immigration. The American people are smart. If any message can be taken from the 2016 presidential election, it is that we the people identified illegal immigration as the biggest issue facing our nation. We are now faced with an invasion force down south. We now stand on the precipice of a disaster that could, if left unchecked, transform America into a third world nation. We must send a rallying cry to the president that we will have his back. He must do the hard things to save America from the corrupt likes of Rep. Omar and her cohorts in the Democratic Party who would rather see America perish so they can stay in power. Benjamin Franklin knew this American experiment could easily be destroyed. He was approached by a Ms. Powell of Philadelphia asking what sort of government the delegates had created. His answer was, a republic, if you can keep it. Let all your family and friends know we have a choice. Support Trump and urge him to close the border so Americans can keep this great republic from ever vanishing from the face of the earth. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.